Hey everyone, let's talk about one of the most active insects in this tank, as well as one of my personal favorites. These little guys are called back swimmers. Now, back swimmers are a predatory aquatic hemipteran, and they get their name, well, as you can tell, because they are upside down and on their backs. And like I said earlier, they are predatory, so they generally spend their days looking for smaller insects or tiny crustaceans and other phytoplankton. Now, there are several species of back swimmer, and they all come in different sizes and shapes and even colors. And they can be very different in how they hunt and feed. The larger back swimmers, like this one, generally stay at the top and wait for prey. And for the most part, they feed on flies or other smaller soft-bodied insects I throw in the tank. However, this larger species has a massive appetite. And it's possible they might go after smaller insects in this tank, including smaller back swimmers. Which is why I only have two in my 30-gallon tank. The smaller back swimmers are absolutely terrific, and I have around 25 of them, and they do not attack anything else in this tank unless it's smaller than them. They also take up sort of that middle layer of the aquarium, which makes that middle layer incredibly active. Plus, how they move is sort of relaxing and calm compared to how the other insects move. So it really brings a great balance in here. Now, I recommend setting up a dense population of Daphnia or other freshwater crustacean before you even put any other insects in the tank. Now, this allows for a great food source for small back swimmers and even other insects in the aquarium. The one thing that is sort of a bummer about back swimmers is that they do not live very long. They only live to about three to five months. However, they will breed in the tank. The only problem is if you do not separate the babies out ahead of time, the larger back swimmers will eat the smaller ones. So you're gonna have to look out for the little guys. What I usually do when I see babies is I will separate them out and put them in either like a bucket or a smaller aquarium. And they grow pretty quick, so then I just raise them into almost adult, and then I'll throw them back in here. Even the little ones will feed really well on different Daphnia or even fruit flies. If you're wanting to breed them, make sure you have plenty of vegetation or rocks. They will hide their eggs in those places and do their best to keep their eggs safe from any of the other insects in the tank. Because let me tell you, those diving beetles are very opportunistic feeders and they will try to eat the eggs. However, I can't even express enough how much back swimmers are so worth having in your tank. If you're interested in starting an aquatic insect tank of your own and would like some tips on how to do so, then follow along for more because there are plenty of videos to come.